question 19 a circular wheel has a radius of 14 centimeters how far will it roll in 10 revolutions hmm. let's see the circular wheel let's get the circular wheel here you have this wheel as a circular wheel it has a radius of 14 so this is a radius 14 centimeters now it talks about 10 revolutions what we do you see let's look at how far it will roll in one revolution and then we multiply that by 10 how far will it roll in one revolution if you take the if you look at the wheel and put a dot here with a marker and you have the ground and you roll it one time so the dot goes round and round and round until it touches the ground again say about here right probably it will be further but say about here what distance would it cover when that dot touches the ground again that would be one complete revolution that would be the circumference let's say CIR for the circumference alright so it would cover one circumference in one, rev in one revolution 10 circumferences in 10 revolution but let's deal with one for now how do you calculate that distance in one revolution well it's a circumference the circumference is you remember the formula 2 pi r 2 pi times the radius so the circumference is 2 times let's use 22 over 7 for pi 22 over 7 times the radius of 14 let's see 7 to 7 1 times 7 to 14 goes 2 times so up top here you have 2 times 22 times 2 2 by 22 is what 44 and 44 by 2 is 88 so it would cover 88 centimeter in one rev how many would it cover in 10 rev let's multiply the 88 by 10 and you get 880 so question 19 D Right, so that would be question 19 D. Let's look at question 20. Let's erase these first. Question 20 it says. Classes in a school starts at 8.50 hours. That's a 24-hour clock you're dealing with. And end at 1,500 hours. Alright. There is a 20-minute morning break. And a midday break of one hour. How much time is spent in class? Let's see what happens. You start at 8.50 a.m. Um, 850 hours 0850 hours if you are familiar already well familiar with the 24 hour clock and just use that but if not you might be a bit more comfortable using what you're accustomed to so um, let's say you are already too accustomed to the 12 hour clock and not very accustomed to the 24 hour clock so what you can do is just convert these hours to 12 hours 1500 hour would represent what 3 o'clock it would be 3 o'clock 3 p.m. from 8 to 3 alright so what's the total time here from 8.50 to 3 total time from 8.50 to 3 
let's start counting from 9 o'clock for the total time 9 to 3 9 10 11 12 1 2 3 that's 6 hours then you add on the 10 minutes so you have 6 hours 10 minutes total time is 6 hours and 10 minutes good there's a 20 minute morning break and a midday break of one hour so the total break is one hour and 10 minutes so you have one hour and 10 minute break what's the total time spent in class no one hour 20 minute break right total time spent in class all right six hours ten minutes let's drop one hour from that for the midday break so you're left with five hours and ten minutes so that's one hour gone five hours ten minutes this 20 minute let's take ten hours from the break 10, 10 minutes from this break so we have 10 minutes left and drop that 10 minutes from school time so you have five hours flat then the next 10 minutes that we need to take off we take that from the five hours so we have four hours and 50 minutes right four hours 50 minutes here so remember we have a total time of six hours 10 minutes we drop the one hour break so we have five hour 10 minutes we break up this 20 minute break into two parts 10 and 10 to make it neater we so we take that 10 minutes we have five hours class time flat but we well five hours cool time flat then we drop this 10 minutes now and we have 4 hours 50 minutes left alright so we have 4 hours 50 minutes in class so that's B question 20B alright that's question 20B and then it says that question 21 is D let's see about that in a while question 21 let's look and see what question 21 says the original price of an article was $240 the price was increased by 12 and a half percent the new price of the article is let's see original price $240 so we have 240 the increase was by 12 and a half percent so the new price the increased price how much went on to the 240 is 12 let's use 0.5 12.5 per mean divide cent means a hundred off means multiply 240 all right now 10 into 100 this 10 10 into 240 is 24 2 into 10 is 5 2 into 24 is 12 so what we have is 12.5 over 5 by 12 then we're going to have 5 into 12 is what 5 into 5 1 5 into 12 goes 2 and 2 fifth 2 fifth is 2 fifth is the same as 0.4 so it's 12.5 by, by 2.4 12.5 times 2.4 so 
to remember what we did 5 into 5 1 5 into 12 goes 2 times and 2 fifth so it's 12.4 now 12.5 times 2.4 what am I doing? no this is 12.5 this 2.4 we're going to multiply them all right so 12 and a half by 1 2 fifth 12.5 2.4 now 4 5 20 down to 0 carry 2 4 2 is 8 and 2 10 bring down to 0 carry 1 4 1 4 and 1 5 2 5 10 bring down to 0 carry 1 2 2 is 4 1 5 2 1 is 2 so we add these so we have 0 0 5 and 5 10 at 0 2 1 1 3 all right so in this case 30 plus 24 we get 21 and 21 is D because we had 30 plus 30 plus the 240 when we multi when we did this so 240 as 240 plus 30 207 T as the answer all right now suppose you were in a great hurry because time was running out is there some other way that you could at least eliminate some wrong answers what we could say is that 12 and a half is close to 10 12 and a half is kind of close to 10 so if we put 10% onto this price, 10% is really 24. So 240, if we increase by 10%, it's 240 plus 24. We get 4 and 0, 4, 4 and 2, 6. So it's 264. We know the price is supposed to be more than 264. So it can be 210, too small, and they said it increase. It can't drop from 240 down to 210. It's not supposed to drop. It's not supposed to drop, so it shouldn't go down to 228. If we put 10% on it, then the price would go up to 264. And we know it's supposed to be 12 and a half percent so it's supposed to be higher than that so it cannot be 252 it's more than 252 so the answer would have to be 270 so that's a quick way that you could also get the answer all right to question 21 all right we will continue next time